Morning guys, just wanted to talk to you about a feature on Bofeng's cheapest radios which are the GT1 and the BF S. Um, they're a really cheap radio, they cost about £10 on eBay new um, come with an antenna, charger and everything like that um, and they're okay, they, they do the job um, obviously you, you get what you pay for but there is one interesting function on them which is called beat shift which I'm going to talk about today um, which is basically um, a voice altering function in them so it's not a, it's not a scramble as such um, because that wouldn't be possible it's not a scramble it's just a voice altering function which um, distorts the voice coming out of the audio um, out of the radio um, so I'm just going to talk about a little bit about that I'll show you the programming and how to actually program it into the radios because Chirp software as far as I'm aware or as far as I can see doesn't do it um, but there is another piece of software that does which I'll show you in a little while okay so this is Chirp software you'll have to apologize for the dodgy filming I haven't got any screen recording software at the moment so this is the Chirp software which everybody or most people use with the both end radios it's really simple to use um, but as you can see on the, um, the BF888, all those similar radios, there's no function up there for uh, for beat shift. And in the columns section, there's uh, there's no function either to add that. So I did a little bit of digging around, and I uh, did a Google search. I typed in BF480 programming software download. Now that isn't the radio that we're programming, but it will work on that. And the first result should be bofengradio.com. So if you click on that, it'll bring up this, which is the um, the software download page. You scroll down the list, and it is that one. BF480 for BF, A and K series. So if you download that software and open it up, you should have something like this. And you'll see that there is the... Um, the option for beat shift which you can enable on uh, on whichever frequencies you want um, so I've just programmed some frequencies in at the moment um, just to test these radios, it's not a function I intend to use really because um, I've got no need for it but it is quite an interesting feature of the radio so once you set your frequencies and the certain you know the various parameters in this software including beat shift you just write to radio um, which is there and, uh, and you're good to go Okay, so now I'm going to share with you a couple of audio clips. The first one is the radios um, just in normal mode without the beat shift on. <clears throat> and the second clip is with beat shift on. I've not recorded it from the radios themselves because um, I want to get a clear sound of what it actually sounds like. So I've recorded the audio going into this radio here. So I'll upload them clips directly from that radio so you'll get um, proper sound without it going through a camera, if you get what I mean. Testing without beat shift, testing without beat shift, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, testing without beat shift on the Bofeng GT1, over. Okay guys, so thanks for watching that, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was useful for you. If you've got any questions, just drop me a comment in the box below. Um, you can do that software on the, um, the both GT1 and the bf S. it works exactly the same on both. So if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up um, and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.